Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to edit your first page in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. As usual in Microsoft software, you can do this in several ways. As you'll notice up here to the right, there's an edit button there. Under the little cog wheel up here, there's the edit page. And under the ribbon here on the page tab, you'll find edit two. So all of these three lets you edit the page. You can also check out the page if you want to make sure that nobody else edits the page at the same time then you might want to make sure that it's checked out but in this case we're just going to edit the page and that takes you into edit mode so the first thing you might want to do is get rid of this get started that looks a little bit um, well unfinished uh, if your site has that on it so i'm going to delete that now and then you can just go ahead and type right in here just as you normally would in a word document or an email or wherever basically so i'll just type welcome if i can spell that welcome to contoso like that and as you'll notice the first tab here the format text is mostly stuff that you recognize the save button of course is very obvious the checkout we've talked about that paste thing here is just as you normally would find it in the office package you also have the undo stack and if i hover over that you see that control z works too so if i do control z here i get back to my spelling mistakes there and of course i can actually do control z and i can do control y also to redo the stuff that i already did so most of my usual keyboard shortcut if you've learned them in word they also work in sharepoint the font section of course you know that stuff too if you select something and change the font then it will change in the background here as you'll notice also with the font size of course it's the same thing if you didn't know that 72 was huge you'll find out right there by simply viewing it so the font section nothing new there really you've seen it all before in the office package but as usual you're not really recommended to use the fonts and go wild on, on changing fonts that's usually frowned upon what you are recommended to do is use the styles instead and select a heading style or some other paragraph style that, that works for you some quotes or emphasis or something like that in this case it's going to be a heading 2 this is actually a web page that you're editing and as you probably know web pages are constructed in a, in a language called html hypertext markup language and that's what you're actually doing now. You're editing an HTML page. Let me go in here and see the edit source. You'll notice that this is actually HTML source being edited. So when I change this to a heading two, I actually got an H2 tag. So it's a start tag and an end tag. And if you want to, you can go in and edit the HTML in here or copy and paste from another editor. What you'll notice though, is that in this HTML editor, you don't have the body tag, you don't have the title tag, the header, all those things. You're confined to editing what's inside the body tag of your HTML page. Also, there are some limitations to what you can do with JavaScript and CSS here. In a later demonstration, I'll show you how to get around those limitations, but you can't start typing in JavaScript or CSS right here, that, that will fail. So that's there, you don't have to do it. The final thing that I wanna show you in this demo is how to get out of edit mode. Now we're obviously in edit mode of this page. To get out of that mode, you simply save. You can of course ignore, and stop editing, that will ignore your changes, but in this case, I'm just gonna save. And of course, there are several ways of doing that too. I'm gonna to go back into edit mode just to show you. That was the save button there. You have a save button up here too. Uh, and on the page tab, there's another save button just to be safe. So there are three different ways of saving. Now, if you made a mistake on your page and want to get back to a previous version, of course, you can't use the undo stack then because that gets cleared every time you save or actually every time you save the page. However, you can go into the site contents and look at your site pages just click on that and go into the site pages and of course the page that i was just editing was the home page and here is the version history of that page there we go version history and there i can see that i've been editing this back and forth a few times now 
and I can easily go back to one of these earlier versions by restoring it. We actually have the same thing if I go into, let's go back to the, the top side there, um, home, there we go. On the page, we actually have the page history there also, that's the same thing. So it's a very safe environment. You have the control set and you have the version history enabled by default on site pages. So it's a very inviting environment to start editing your pages in. That concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.